Do Rag Wisdom here, and welcome to Y2K 17.10.06. Memos from the Asylum. With a quote from Albert Einstein, it's a paraphrase. Insanity, the definition, doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting the same results. I pledged to document my final years living on this human insane asylum called Earth. An ironic place where there exists from space a gorgeous green and blue and brown ambiance. But on its surface there is mostly murdering, eating, and absorbing. I don't believe that the human species will last because it does the same thing repeatedly and expects the same results. Ours is an insane species dwelling amid a paradise that we besmirch every chance that we get. We are bound and determined to commit suicide and sadly at the expense of every living being on our planet. I've said this again and again, that the world did not change after the events of 11th September 2001. I recall growing up in the 50s and 60s with nothing but anxiety. We have never gotten along, folks, and we always have conflicts and that either fester in cold wars over the years or these wars grow hot when the rich need more money for their lavish lifestyles. I can't remember a time when our species was completely at peace. Never. I can't remember a time when we were not abusing one another. And at this stage in our evolution, peace, harmony, Wisdom may be improbable. If there's one thing we are good at, it is making each other as miserable as possible. I take my existence seriously because if I am not careful, I could die at the hands of some other human being. But another way, I can't take anything seriously because this planet is nothing more than an insane asylum run by the inmates themselves to the detriment of all. Let me use some details, okay? So you can understand where I'm coming from. Please remember that our country, our citizens, the USA, seems bound and determined to let a thief, a liar, a tax evader, to mess with our taxes. That Trumpist Don Dotard, the creeping in of our country, and these are some, the same supporters that are chiefly concerned for their money over life. If that is not insane, I want you to check now the 16 reasons why I believe I'm living in an asylum. And I could add more. I could add more, but... I mean, you need details. I always taught my students that you have to have details. One, human beings build cities that block out sunlight and congest breathing as we know it. Two, human beings do not respect the rights and communities of other communities. Ever watch when they come into a beautiful community and 
and you have maybe two family, three family houses or whatever, and then somebody comes in, they want to build a massive apartment building and 90 stories high. <laughs> Yeah, people are bound and determined. Three, we have made our world into a shopping mall, strip or otherwise. That is the same as any place that we travel to. Where are those faraway Walmart-less places, folks, anymore? Those places free of big box stores and multiplex, characterless movie theaters and chain stores. They are fading into nothingness, along with stamp collections and printed newspapers and magazines. Crazy people can't take surprises. So everything in this world must remain the same for everyone and for every place that we visit. My gosh. If I'm in another faraway country and I can't find a McDonald's or a Sheridan hotel, I'm lost. Four. We must gentrify classic old communities to death. Expel the real people that live there and replace them with dummies. Five, every time people are murdered by gun-toting crazies in our gun-loving country, our politicians always have hearts that go out to the victims. When most of these creeps absolutely have no hearts. Otherwise, the events of Las Vegas would have never happened. Today's politicians want more, not less guns. These politicians don't care if crazy people own them and even want to make mass murder easier by allowing people to put silencers on their weapons. If the first responders during the Las Vegas massacre could not hear where the gunfire was coming from, even more people would have died. Six. Remember how the mayor of Amity insisted that there was no shark in the water, the same way that Trump, the Trump-nosed creep is insisting that there's no climate change? Insane people insist that the reality of their eyes is not reality and that climate change is just as fake as the three major hurricanes we just had. Seven, I remember when I came to New York in the early 70s, I learned of the street screamers who would babble loudly in public with demented fury. Now, 40-something years later, more people on the streets of New York, not less, are babbling loudly in public into their cell phones. And those who are not have their noses stuck in their androids without even realizing that another even more nutty person is coming up to urinate in their faces. And this is a true story. This really happened to somebody on a New York City subway. Insane, insane people seldom pay attention because they are busily inhabiting their own special world. Eight, we can speak to empty air loudly and with emotion in public if we do it in a church, a synagogue, or a mosque. But we are shunned if we talk loudly to ourselves, to no one or nothing outside of these venues. Nine, we live in a hypocritically puritanical society that uses sex to sell its products. It was up to me. Sex work would be legal. Gambling would be legal. All narcotic drugs would be legal with prescription, taxed, whatever. I'm not a Puritan. I don't believe that Puritanism has made our lives in our, in our country here any better. It's made it worse. 10. We condemn violence, yet allow football athletes, for example, to have their brains damaged just because we really all wish we were back in a Roman 
Gladiator Arena. 11. Our hospitals are in personal death houses. I'd rather die on a street. 12. Our educational institutions are nothing but factories. And I could tell you a lot about education because I had to deal with it for 28 years. 13. And many these days have children, but do not raise them. Made it really wonderful for me during my, my teaching career. It was absolutely wonderful. We are creating, this is number 14, we are creating a world filled with our trash, worse than anything shown in the animated feature, Wall E. 15. Humans value their filthy money more than they value human beings or animals on our planet. 16. The USA has, after all, placed a madman at its helm and quite appropriate for this asylum earth until nuclear horror blots it out forever.